In today's lesson, I'm going to discuss and show you how you can get that killer groove under your hands and feet. That groove was taught to me by a guy named Mark Walker. Uh, when I was in college at the University of Northern Colorado, go Bears, uh, I took a few lessons with a guy in Denver, a uh, great drummer and producer, Mark Walker, and uh, just randomly he kind of showed me that groove as something that he was messing around with, and uh, I was kind of blown away by it. I thought it was really cool, it was really musical, and uh, I wanted to learn it, so I transcribed it, and I couldn't play it uh, for a little while because of the four-way coordination and the ind independence that it took to uh, execute it. So through the years, I kind of chipped away at it and always kept it in the back of my mind that that would be a really fun groove to get under my hands and feet. So finally got it, and i uh, just been messing with it a little bit. So. Let me explain to you and break down what the groove is. Uh, first of all, it's an open style groove, and I by no means am an open style player, <clears throat> but that's part of the fun with, about this groove. The, the left hand is playing 1E, a 2E, a 3E, a 4E. So if you're looking at four sixteenth notes per beat, it's the first, the second, and the fourth. 1E, e, a 2E, a 3E, a 4E. And now I'm playing it with the tip of my stick on the bell of the hi-hat. Now, I'm also bouncing my left leg in eighth notes. One and two and three and four and, which is opening the hi-hat when I play that rhythm. And it's getting a really cool effect. It's, it's uh, getting opens on the E's and the U's. So it sounds like this. Now the right hand is playing the rhythm 1 E and, which is the first 3 16th notes, and then 2 and, 3 and, 4 and. And the right hand is also playing the backbeat, so on 2 and on 4 I'm playing an accent. And when Mark showed me this groove, uh, he was orchestrating everything on the rim of the snare drum with the exception of the backbeat. So it sounded like this, 3 and, 4 and. hand and the left foot together. Now let's throw the bass drum in there. So the bass drum is playing one E and a, uh, so the first and the fourth notes of the first four sixteenths, one E and a, uh, two and, three E, four and. 1 E and a 2 and 3 E and a 4 and 1 E and a 2 and 3 E and a 4 and. So let's play it all together. Okay, there you have it. Now, what's really cool about this, and when I'm playing and, and practicing really melodic grooves, is to take the patterns that you're playing and reorchestrate them. So that is move them around the drum set in different ways so that you can create different melodies and different uh, timbres and totally different uh, complexions of the groove itself. You saw me do that a little bit in the beginning where I was just orchestrating the right hand around a little bit. I was playing it on the snare drum by itself or the ride cymbal or, or my piggyback over here. So I'm gonna do that a little bit again. But I'm also going to start moving the left hand around, and we'll see what happens with this. Um, you know, th it's a really cool kind of discovery process that you go through where when you move things around, all of a sudden your ears and your brain kind of take it in a different direction. So let's see where this ends up.
So, here's what happened. Uh, I was orchestrating the right hand and creating some different melodies and playing some of the parts on the toms or on the piggyback. And then I thought to myself, all right, what happens if I move the left hand to the rim? So I moved it to the rim. Pretty cool, messed around with some open hi-hats with my foot. That was fun. But then I brought it to the snare drum. And when I brought it to the snare drum, all of a sudden my brain went ding, 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 ding. If I lay that rhythm back a little bit and open it up, it's the same rhythm that the tambourine plays in a samba, in a batucada. So I thought, okay, if I do that and then change the bass drum pattern to a samba, orchestrate the right hand with the 1 EN, 2 EN, 3 EN, 4 EN that it takes to play a samba, all of a sudden I've transformed that groove from this killer kind of funky melodic groove to a batucada. Now, I had no idea that was going to happen. I was actually practicing this this morning and I discovered that it could go to a batucada. I had no idea. And that's kind of the point, right? So when you're playing these grooves, reorchestrate, search, and discover, and see what you can come up with. It's a really fun process. Um, and you, you end up getting a lot more mileage out of what you can already do and what you can already play. Okay, so have fun with that. Search, discover, and first and foremost, really enjoy this process because it's a blast and um, you're going to grow a lot musically out of it. Okay?